Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. This is huge breaking news. It's something that I've had to deal with myself, but Aya being a part of Nidhi Sanji, should not have to deal with this because they are a part of Nidhi Sanji. That's what the agency's there for. She has had every single one of her most recent streams be pretty much demonetized. What I mean by pretty much demonetized is when you go into limited ads, that's what's happening here. Let me just read it to you first. So YouTube just limited my monetization for literally every stream in September. Haven't checked in a while, so I guess it's my fault, but I've had a history of getting wrongly marked as such requesting it to be reviewed again, then it just being lifted the next day. I only found out about this because I randomly checked today, noticing that several of my streams this month were limited despite not breaking any rules. I find it pretty ridiculous that I have to constantly look over my shoulder and check YouTube is randomly limiting my ad revenue for literally no reason. And meanwhile, they let some insane stuff pass on YouTube. I recall seeing a thumbnail on a shorts video about someone getting their blank blanked out. Basically, their, their vision taken out. Uh, and it was on the front page just chilling. I'm over here getting limited monetization for no reason. I mean, it's not the end of the world since ad revenue is just whatever to me. But it just sucks how that platform is allowed to just happen for no reason. And what she's talking about is this showing here. Every single thing here you can see. Every single one has been hit with limited ads. Every single one. I've had that issue too. That's what I was talking about before. Every single one of my... Uh, streams also gets hit with limited ads. Now, here's one thing that I that I need to mention. It's not so much about the ads for me or for Aya or for anyone else being hit with this. Limited ads, what it does, it also limits, limits your discoverability. For someone like Aya, myself, and others, the first 12 to 24 hours are something that uh, is very important after your stream. Because if you stream every day, like I do, and Aya does, and other people do, you no longer like after the day is done when you go on to your next one your last one is no longer relevant unless you have fans that are trying to catch up to every single vod that you've done your last one is no longer relevant they are now focusing on your new one and that is why limited ads is so problematic your discoverability drops it's not so much the ad revenue because ad revenue on youtube is garbage for the most part but it is discoverability it destroys the discoverability of that video it makes it so that it's not pushed in the algorithm pretty much because it's if it's limited for a reason like that, that means that something is going on and you are not uh, good for the algorithm to push. At least that's the way I've seen it because algorithm is more of a viewing algorithm as in they push videos that people might want to view. If it's limited, they assume it's for, you know, S content or other things like that. It's no longer available like able to be pushed because it's like oh it's risky now so people don't want to view that because it's more risky content and that is a problem it sucks for aya and niji should have been handling this a long time ago without aya even having to deal with it that's why i like other agencies like hololive and face connect and others they deal with it before it becomes a big issue like it is now niji sanji is really a lethal company according to this person niji meme members be like let's play lethal company my brother in christ you're working for a lethal company almost they aren't lethal in the way that you would think because of the fact that luckily the attempts that were made by their fan the, the, the people that used to exist are no longer i mean they are living a good life so but pretty much it can be near lethal that's the thing with the meme my brother in Christ, it's near lethal for you guys holy crap so that's a little bit of a meme for you guys here this person here is wondering why People are starting to get their 3Ds. From what I understood during the whole colors incident that was, you know, postponed and later on put out as, you know, a live, a quote unquote live stream, uh, they had had their 3Ds because they used it for colors. They had it for a while. I think what ended up happening is a lot of this stuff was delayed because of the delay of having colors out there and also, you know, the things that were happening within EN and management just being the inept and incompetent people that they seem to be. It's cool that people are getting them. They're finally getting them out there. They've had them for a while, but they're finally getting to use them. Albinox's 3D reveal, and also you have Sunny Briscoe's 3D reveal that are gonna be happening October 18th for, uh, October 11th was the one for Albinox, October 18th for Sunny Briscoe. Very good that they're actually getting to use them. They are, of course, doing that for the benefit of themselves and for the benefit of the investors by themselves i mean niji sanji not the livers themselves because the livers themselves they're just 
glad to be able to stream and glad to be able to be with their communities. But the investors are what Nidisanji EN and Nidisanji overall, any color cares about. So that's why they're doing these things. And of course, like this person says, what I said with the Colors concert, they did get their 3Ds before because, you know, they used it during the Colors concert, but they weren't able to use it. And this might be what, like this person saying here, that they're trying to restore trust with the musical activities as a division. So yeah, personally, I still hate that it's uh, like they're playing dumb and acting as if nothing happened instead of taking accountability. And that's one of the reasons why I still harp on the management. Management hasn't taken accountability. And even some of the livers that have done negative things haven't taken accountability. Once they do, then of course, my tune will change. Kudeji Ali recently had her 3D outfit, basically a new 3D outfit for her live. And she had her whole birthday celebration. Ali is of course, part of the second generation of Hololive Indonesia, uh, a branch of Hololive overall, which is, you know, under the umbrella of cover. You have ID, EN, and JP, their own separate branches. And Ali had special guests there, but today what we're gonna be looking at is Ali's actual outfit. As you can see here, these are screen caps of it. Really well done. I love it. The veil, the kind of a bit of a wedding dress type of thing with the, uh, the heart in the back or wings in the back in this case. Very nice. It's basically kind of gives you like a queen of hearts type of look to it, I think a little bit as well, but it's very, very Ali. Very Ali in the way she's doing it. And, and I love the veil, love everything, love the actual stage that they gave her. It's very fitting. And of course, Ali is an amazing singer. Ali is an amazing uh, Hololive talent. She has gone very, f oh, holy crap. That's nice. That's very nice. The, uh, the change in color and in the dark mode. She has gone very far. She has done a lot and she is very much appreciated in Hololive. You're seeing all the different angles here going through them. Very well made. Love the lighting. The fact that they give like a soft lighting instead of like a harsh lighting, like overhead lighting or anything like that. Uh, and the 3D, as you guys know, the 3D mocap, the motion capture is usually very, very good. And there you have it. Every single part of it, very well made by Hololive, of course. And let's see what people have to say about it. They say, while I dig her 3D design, I have absolutely no idea who you're trying to snipe with this assertion, who made the, the dumb 3D request. I believe they're hinting towards the the samurai. Uh, they're basically it was uh, uh, a poke at um, Vox's weird samurai look. Not the rigging, but the cost costume design was made by Lamb, design artist for Ollie, and also uh, Vox. So in this case, Lamb was able to do something amazing here because they were able to work with what they're used to work in the design cues that they're norm that is normal for them, not something brand new. When you do something brand new that's out of your comfort level, it doesn't end up looking so good, which is why people mentioned Vox in this one. But if you do something within your comfort level, look how amazing it ends up becoming. If you guys have been watching Fillion recently, you know, Cha-Cha Your V-Mom is kind of her adopted mom, at least adopted VTuber mom. Cha-Cha uh, Your V-Mom has adopted a lot of people, but Fillion is one of them. And recently they have made a tweet that says, if you get 50K on Twitter, I'll repost actual pedicured toes. That chat paid 2K to make our Discord icon for three days. And it continues. I literally posted this two days ago. I didn't think you guys would actually get it done. What does she mean? She's at 54.9K now. So she has to actually put those pedicure toes down there. People are saying, is this you underestimating the indomitable human spirit to move heaven and earth to will things into being? In this case, toe picks that it may be. And this is happy 50K Twitter followers, I guess. She put the toe picks there with the rock having <clears throat> like say, hey, it's, it's a good meal. Then our beloved Cha Cha Your V Mom hit the 50k followers. That was quick. That was very fast. Very fast. People wanted them toes. Dear Lordy, people wanted them toes. It's been boozing the thing that September 22nd, we had 4k cutie pies following Mama here on Twitter. We're only a day shy of three weeks and have grown to 51k. It is insane what toes will do to a man, I guess, in this case. Toes will in, in, in make people go insane and do intense and crazy things, it looks like. So enjoy your toes, I guess. That's. Uh, win for the community question mark <laughs> have fun a small indie vtuber group as in they don't have a larger management group behind them uh vivid or uh, vivid neon vivi neo as they're known is pushing out a advertisement for their new generation or a new generation that they're pushing out there let's take a look and see what they're doing basically hipsway they're doing hipsway of course they're gonna be doing hipsway it's still popular i think but uh they're doing that they're dancing they're doing a little bit of dancing there that's gonna be their new generation and here's a little bit further of course them doing the same thing here uh we have something exciting to announce soon though the announcement is going to be happening uh and i don't know there we are we have the most recent ones ah it looks like they're all going to be like chibi forms it does look like they're all going to be chibi forms 
energetic, colorful, chaotic, fluffy, cute, uh, Decora, vivid, global, quirky. And that is the newest generation that they're going to have there. Of course, with uh, other versions of their announcements here, their 3D, basically Powerpuff Girls style thing they're doing here, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> it's it's unique. It's creative. It's definitely creative. And I'm, I'm glad that they decided to go this way. And it's interesting that it does look like they're all going to be chibi forms. So that's a new thing for me, for them all to just start off as chibi. Usually you start off as regular and then you move to chibi because, you know, you're going to be moving to chibi and updates on X darling or darling. Uh, if you remember a while back in around September, I mentioned that, uh, they were having a severe critical condition where that had them in the hospital and, um, they weren't sure, like the family wasn't sure if they were going to make it. I do have good news though. This is the stuff about here, it, uh, you know, mentioned in September 26th that she was hospitalized, receiving better care. Everything was scary for the whole family, but especially for her, I don't know what else I can say, except thank you for showing so much support. There are several events taking place, like I mentioned here, uh, hosted by friends, her friends and people within their communities. All that info is in a discord server. She primarily used for GTA RP. We kind of made it into a space to gather Caroline's friends and community. She spends her nights there sometimes as her friends will stream games or movies for her to watch while at the hospital. You can find the invite link in her main discord chat, gen chat, I think. And here we go. This is a update on everything. If you remember, she wasn't able to say anything because I believe they either, either had her in a coma or she was actually unable to say things. Now she is able to say something. It says, hi everyone, I'm okay. Still at the hospital and have been here for almost a month now, but the important thing is that I'm safe. It was really scary having to call for help and even scary going through everything I did, but I'm just glad that I'm okay. Every day here has been difficult and I'm faced with new challenges every day. It's a bit lonely and I cry often, but I'll take that over losing my life. Thank you for everyone that reached out, for all the checkups, for all the well wishes, and praying for me. I'm sorry I haven't been able to respond back to most of it. If I'm honest, I'm overwhelmed and overstimulated, often being here. All the support truly appreciated and has made me feel a lot better. I don't know how much longer I'll be away from home, but something tells me I won't be home for quite some time. Terrified, but I'll get through it. I'm sorry it took me so long to write an update here, but thank you all for the kindness and supporting me. Lastly, please don't neglect your health and please don't ignore your feelings just because you feel like it might be inconveniencing to someone else. You matter. How you feel matters. Your life matters. I wish everyone here nothing but good health, good company, and an amazing life. And if no one else has told you today, you are so loved caroline so i'm glad the straws says take care eugene as well everyone is is very very happy that they're doing better very very happy that they are conscious awake seem to be improving and this is just an update for those that were worried about it. a bit of an update on the situation of idol corp if you remember correctly uh, a couple of days ago i had mentioned i think it was several days ago by now i had mentioned how uh idol corp had messed up as we now know idol corp had pretty lax management uh, standards when they were independent, when they were their own thing. Now that they're part of Brave Group, Brave Group is putting them all in line and making sure everything gets handled properly. So here we go. That Weeby is the one that is going to be handling a lot of the things that are going through with um, with Idol Corp. Dear customers waiting for Idol's 2023 merch. In some shipments sent out today to international addresses, packages were meant to include a large crunkly, mistakenly had a one out packed instead we have identified the mistake and are fixing it so they're going to be sending you the the uh wow now uh they're actually going to be sending you the scrunkly instead of the one out rest assured the scrunkly is real and it'll be on its way to you shortly if you happen to be one of those uh, who received the one out it's yours to keep you company so they're not asking for it back they're like keep it as a gift from us we'll ship another package with just the scrunkly to the same address at no extra cost for those orders you might be able to stop them from being shipped and we'll simply replace the item you'll get another email confirming when it's shipped. This includes Europe, Asia, and Australia. To clarify, if you received an email saying that a scrunkly was shipped to you, it is indeed a scrunkly. This is the one. I uh, need a quick breather after being crammed in the warehouse, but don't worry, I'll, it'll be fine. I'll be home soon. So yeah, that's the one that's going to be sent. I uh, specifically refunded the one out. I'll be burned if I receive it. Uh, the scrunkly is real. It sounds so ominous. It's planning to do. Yeah, basically, so they're doing it properly. They're like, whoops, we made a mistake. And guess what? It's on us. If you guys receive the one out and want to keep it, go ahead. If you want to give it away, go ahead. It's yours. Do what you want with it. Scrunkly will be sent to you as well, though. So go ahead and keep that as well. Maimu Akemi, uh, Bond Liver EN's chaotic mime, has decided 
to graduate. It is their official notice of graduation for them. What this does is it lets, you know, their fans know what's going on. Look how spooky I made it. Well, I already announced it on stream a while ago, but I'm going to reiterate here. I will be graduating from reality on 1030 at 8 p.m. CST, Central Standard Time in the U.S. It'll be a while, but I still hope you'll wait for me. So it says, thank you for your continued support of Mayumu Akami from Bond Life's EN's uh, reality branch, aka me. Look, you see the black text in the white background. You know exactly where this is going. I spent a lot of time in this dimension and every moment of it has been nothing but absolute bliss. You have given me so much joy and have been able to create such amazing memories with you. Unfortunately, the only thing I can say about this is all good things have come to an end at some point. I've done all that I can at this place and I've decided to start a new chapter of my life in a different dimension. That means that I, Maimu Akami, will be graduating from reality. All my posts from Twitter account will also be purged in a short time after my final stream. So it's a full on purge. Why don't you know this isn't a decision I took lightly. When I joined this branch, I knew I was taking a risk, but it ended up being one of the best things I ever took a chance on. And trust me, I don't say that about just anything. I've made wonderful friends, Emmy, my Pookie Wookie, and made so many amazing memories. Friends and wonderful friends and everything like that. I may be moving on from this place, but I want you to know that I don't regret a single thing. I look forward to seeing you on October 30th. Thank you for being my my mites. My mites. I promise we will meet again. It's, it is a pinnacle of all human emotion. More passionate than hope. Far deeper than despair. Love. Homura Akami. Uh, and there you go. This is a idea that either they're going to go to their PL. They're going to go into their uh, individual self. Or maybe they somehow ended up going into another larger form. We don't know. We won't know. It is all rumor, speculation, whatever you want to call it, on my end at this point. But it is sad to see another VTuber go. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to the VTuber community and use whatever small reach that I have to pay it forward and to bring new VTubers and other VTubers into the light. It is very hard to make it nowadays as a VTuber, and I want to do whatever I can with whatever size that I have in order to benefit people. And here's Amanagata Haru, the one person that we're going to talk about today. I cute, I stream, I play game, I yap. This is their schedule that they have. They're doing uh, Greenwich Mean Time plus eight. They're doing Core Keeper, Zatsudan, Zatsudan Open Lobby Games, Baldur's Gate 3, Friday something, Saturday 12 p.m. GMT, 100 follow collab with Nearling Irelia. Arella, and let's take a look at their full thing here. They are, of course, as I mentioned, a she, her. They are full time. They're trying to go with this full time. They uh, are just totally normal high school girl, question mark, question mark, who streams a variety of games and gaps a whole ton. I'm the cutest, question mark, funniest, question mark, girl around. So you're going to come watch me, right? And yeah, take a look at them. Take a look at them, watch them. See if it's something that fits your style and fits what you usually like. They do a lot of gaming and chatting for now. They're planning on doing karaoke and art streams in the future. They do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or regular stream days, sometimes depending on their schedule, like you mentioned there, like I saw there. Uh, they do things, you know, they'll have the schedule, try to bring up a schedule every week, it looks like. They do like the fact that you can remain anonymous. Uh, they like to be able to connect and entertain people, really meeting, like meeting a whole bunch of people and other VTubers I can collab with. Uh, also really like fun and make playing making friends and gaming with other fellow streamers it's only been two weeks since they debuted and they've already met and connected with a bunch of people that's what i want the community to be i want the community to continue being like this they're very open to collabing with other creators other vtubers they don't have any big projects for the moment but of course they want to continue maybe doing some karaoke some things like that um they enjoy also like as they've been mentioning the fact that vtubing you kind of are puppeteering a character and you want them to be able to move like i'm doing right now and things like that so let's take a look at what they've been doing recently. Here is a clip that I always like to show. There, there, it's gone, 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 it's gone. <laughs> gone. You guys didn't see anything. So yeah, it's having, they're having a lot of fun. And that's what I want to see. This is what I like seeing. Like here is them actually playing a game here. Looks like they were playing Stardew Valley, it looks like. Looks like Stardew Valley mainly. And it looks like they... Ah, they were collabing with somebody. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, they were collabing with somebody. They were, they were doing that, which oh, is, you know, king? them having a lot of fun, which is great <laughs> uh, to I see. They do have a nice voice. So it's something that also, you know, would attract more people. And thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. And I do hope that this helps you grow. I hope that the little bit that I put out there, the little bit of you that I put out there will draw new fans and new people to your channel. 
Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.